Hey everybody, welcome back to the Best Coin News Channel on YouTube. I'm Son of a Silver Stacker. Today's date is April 15, 2024. You know what day that is. Now, we got a developing story that I have to share with you today. It is about the 2024 Native American dollar. Now, if you already know about it, kudos to you. But I think we need to keep our eye on this and we won't see the complete picture until the end of the year. So this is something we're definitely going to have to keep our eye on. But before any of that, if you're new here, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We're trying to get to a bazillion subs right there. Now over here to MoneyMetals.com. Gold is up 1170 to 2366.85. Silver up 56 cents to 28.67. And it looks pretty subdued, a lot more subdued than I thought that I would see. Um, but that could be to the limited uh, engagement that actually had happened, right? It was maybe more posturing than anything. Now, platinum down 305 to 985.80 and palladium down 465 to 1082 even. Steven, you're looking at an in-stock American Silver Eagle whose premium is 819. Now, you're going to get out of there for a quantity of uh, 1 through 39 for 36.85. And they'll buy them back for 29.86. We've seen it a little bit higher than that in the last few days. Now, here are the bullion sales from the United States Mint. We don't have any new tale to tell at all here but i can say that it will be interesting to see the end of the month's numbers um and will we be halfway through may and the mint will add numbers to april probably you never know now over here to january 29th 2024 and that was the day the united states mint dropped the native american one dollar coin rolls bags and boxes that's right boxes of those bad boys 250 to be exact now let's talk about this particular coin over here on pcgs that's the Sacagawea dollar, and we have Mint State, and we have Population Report, United States Dollars, and Sacagawea. So let's go ahead and go down to 2024, and those population reports are available, and we're almost there. I've highlighted the ones we're going to be talking about here. And what's interesting is that, um, you know, I like PCGS, the grid, a little bit better. It's more easily understood than the NGC is. To me, you might find it easier for you to understand, but speaking for myself, that's kind of the way I roll. Now, Look at this. We have 2020, let's start here, 2021 Philadelphia A and B, right? So if you collect these coins, and I'm talking about the American Innovation and the Native American dollars here, there is the PDAB. Do you know what the PDAB is? That's the Philadelphia Denver A and B positions. So there's the A and B positions for P. There's the A and B positions for D, and that's both 2021. Then we get to 2022, same story. But look, for some odd, strange reason, PCGS, in their infinite wisdom, decided to put 2023 right in the middle of 2024. Or is it their peanut butter, my chocolate? Or is their chocolate, my peanut butter? I don't know. But either way, this is the story here, folks, that you need to be paying attention to. So look at the grades that we saw here for the 2021. You had one in 68, a pretty good number in 66. Um, yeah, out of 197, 66 were 67. All right, and then I guess the majority of those bad boys were 66, and then you had some 65. But look at this year. All right, well, this, here we go, 2022. Yeah, no 68s, but we did see a bunch of 67s, right? But look at this. We're going to get here to 2024, folks. And these are the first submissions. And when people submit coins to the grading companies, they don't necessarily just willy-nilly throw some coins in a flip and say, well, just best of luck to me. You know, it, it, they don't say that. They go through and they look, you know, with one light source and maybe a loop. And they look at that coin and they look at both sides. They look at the edges of the coin, right? Three sides to a coin. And they make sure that they start submitting the best possible coin. Well, look at this. I don't know about you, but PCGS might be grading a little bit tougher because look at that. Out of five submitted for the Philadelphia position A out of five, only three of them got a grade of mid-state 66 pickup sticks. And look at this. The one going to drop down to the Native American position B from Philadelphia. Four of them were submitted and all four got 66. That's excellent. But check this out. This is where the story really starts getting some legs. All right, look at this, 2024 Denver, Native American position A. Out of 42 submitted, 12 right there, bam. 12 of those bad boys were in a mid-state 66, but 30, however, were in a 65. That puts us around 70% of those coins were really in poor shape, right? Because mid-state 65, that's kind of the least, the lowest grade I would expect to get in submitting any coins from the United States Mint in any kind of their packaging without taking it out, without fooling with it. And yeah, that's it. Mint, the United States Mint should make at least Mint State 65 coins. But obviously, as you can see, there are some 64s here and there. But I think the majority of them um, would at least grade 65 or better. Now, look at this. Out of, uh, what, 46 here, 27 of them 
it's not 50 50 percent but it is closer probably about 60 or so maybe um oh i don't know probably about well maybe just under 60 percent there i don't know it's close though to that 60 percent. that's amazing it's probably 58 um anyway 58 percent of them are grading i mean it's just what are we looking at here again folks so this isn't the complete picture this is not necessarily going to be a condition rarity coin all right um but we need to wait for guess what wait for it right we need to wait for the uncirculated set now this is the uh the numbers right and the numbers are pretty standard they're actually a little bit higher than last year uh, but it is a way beautiful design i really love it it's probably my top three uh, Native American dollar designs, I really love it. And it's the Indian Citizenship Act of 1924. And I do hope that the White House holds a uh, a ceremony on the lawn uh, sometime in June, I believe, um, was when the Indian Citizenship Act of 1924 was signed. And uh, yeah, let's uh, commemorate that again. That's pretty amazing. 100 years ago. And it doesn't say 100th anniversary here, which I think is a miss, but that's all right. That's the CCAC and the CFA and the uh, Treasury Secretary and all them making that decision. Now, let's go down here. So all of the ones that we've seen here from PCGS are in this finish right here. Finish. Circulating finish. So that's a circulating finish, right? Okay, that's excellent. However, if we wait until this particular current product right here comes up uh, for availability and we don't know when, well, no, actually, my bad. We've already got that one this is the one i'm talking about subscribe and get free shipping uncirculated coin set for 2024 has a product limit of 190,000. and if you look at the specifications here folks yeah and um it doesn't say the finish does it so we're gonna have to go to indeed oh but you know i want to show you something here real quick like it says here u.s mint uncirculated coins all right this is an uncirculated coin set we just looked at these ones are circulating finished for this particular coin right so what do you think they're going to be an uncirculated condition compared to the circulated condition, right? We hope that they're a better condition and we're going to see more coins in higher grades than what we're seeing now. All right, let's 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 read that. It says here, U.S. Mint uncirculated coins are struck on special presses using greater force than what is used for circulating coins with circulating finishes, right? Producing a sharp, intricately detailed image. The coins are sealed in blisters and displayed in folders. Now, let's look at eBay and what the prices people are realizing for these particular coins when they're graded in mid state. All right, look at that. So you got position, that's PDAB right there, P D A N B, and that's mid state 66 from PCGS. And we know, look, we know from PCGS that 66, that's the highest grade you're going to get. There's not one in a mid state 67. However, I do believe that when we do get that uncirculated coin set sometime in summer of 2024, that we will be realizing higher grades than what we're seeing now all right uh, and that's just the way it is right look at that mint state 67 and a denver 299.99 that's that's good money another 67 that's from ngc just about the same price and what's interesting is that well ngc uh, well i don't want to say it but um yeah I, I just think that sometimes pcgs depending on the coin uh, pulls more money all right uh, than ngc and, and you know that's just what i what i see I probably am wrong about that. Now, here we go. Some people just like NGC and some people like PCGS. It's a personal preference. And some people realize that one is better than the other at certain things and vice versa, right? Some people have both um, subscriptions to uh, both uh, grading companies, third-party grading companies. Look at this. And I'm going to say 64, right? Look at that. Uh, is that a 64? I can't tell. It might be a 66. Yeah, it's a 66. 109. Um, look at that last one for watchers. So people are buying them. 79 for a 66 pin PCGS. Uh, yeah, that's almost the price of a uh, pretty good, decent grade uh, Kennedy half dollar, right? So these are definitely going for good money. Now, with that said, I think that's all I have for you today. Um, like I said, it's a developing story. And when we do get the uncirculated coin sets out uh, and those start to become graded, I, I do believe we're going to see some higher numbers here. Um, now, the question is, how high can it go? Will we see 68? And if we do see 68, well, um, yeah, all the ones we just saw on eBay for those particular prices are going to probably drop precipitously. Now, that means it's going to rain down, right? So let's go to those sold items real quick. Look at that P&D, and that's the PDAB. You get the PD, the A, and the B positions for 239 just sold March 14. That was a little bit ago. Do I have the highest? Let's see the latest. Newly listed. Yeah, there we go. 1850 for a mid-state 66. Not bad, not bad at all. Look at these. We can get American Silver Eagles. There's one right there. 39.95. That's a Denver mid-state 66. There's $43. You get two of them, it looks like, right there. 
and uh, not so bad. I wonder why these. Oh, it's the label. No wonder. Yeah, it's the native. It's the Native American label. Anyway, I think that's it. Let's go to those plus ones, folks. Blamo, right there. The psychology of man from the Guide for the Perplexed, and this is from the Rambam. All right, men like the opinions to which they have been accustomed from their youth. That's right. Um, they defend them and shun contrary views. And this is one of the things that prevents men from finding the truth, for they cling to the opinion of habit. Isn't that the truth, man? Solid words. Now, oh, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and replay that. I was rocking out earlier to this. this is White Wedding, parts one and two. Shotgun Mix, remastered back in two, uh, 2001. This is Billy Idol off the Vital Idol. Did you love that? I, I used to just dig this album. I'm a Billy Idol fan. Yeah, I can't help it. Did you know what Billy Idol uh, used to play in before? Uh, he was with uh, well, when, he, when he was on his own. He was with a band uh, with Tony James, right? And when and what band did Tony James uh, start? I think uh, after he left the band uh, that was with him and Billy Idol. Now, if you know that, um, send me an email. Well, you'll probably look it up. Either way, it's pretty interesting trivia. Now, with that said, I want to thank y'all for coming. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And well, I don't even know. Just hang loose. Have a good day. Bye.